Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a weekly reading for you for May 17th through May 23rd. We're going to be taking a look at the energies that will be playing out for you this upcoming week. This is a general reading, so make sure that you understand that it may or may not resonate with, with you. Um, everything that, you know, all of the messages, you know, just may not uh, coincide with you entirely. And the whole reading may coincide with you entirely. So, you know, it is a general reading, so please keep that in mind, okay? Go take, uh, take a look and um, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, make sure that you are uh, getting all of the messages that pertain to you, okay? We're going to be looking at the challenge. We're going to get advice from spirit, and then we're going to get an outcome, okay? Let's get into the reading. First message out is Five of Swords. This is your challenge. What is the advice for Sagittarius? We got the Ten of Coins. And the outcome is the Two of Cups. So in your challenge position here, Sagittarius, I do have the Five of Swords, which talks to me about disruption and communication. So this upcoming week, you could be experiencing some arguments excuse me, arguments with people in your life. This could be in the workplace. It could be in your relationship with friends, with family. Um, but this is really talking about disruption, okay? Um, also, maybe disruptive thoughts as well. So there could be something going on this week that's causing this, okay? Um, in the advice from Spirit, you have the Ten of Coins. This talks about long-term relationships. It can talk about retirement, abundance, um, family, okay? We will get clarification on why this is coming out in your advice, but it is a beautiful card to get, okay? In your outcome, we have the Two of Cups, so we could be talking about love in this in this reading today, okay? This is the outcome. Two of Cups can talk about partnership. It can talk about um, union with another person. Again, this doesn't have to be, but we will clarify. We will see what this Two of Cups is talking about here in your outcome, okay? Let's dive into the reading. Okay, Spirit, what is this Five of Swords here for Sagittarius in their challenge position? Okay. So we have the Strength and we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Sun card. Page of Cups, Three of Cups, one more. And the Seven of Cups, lots of cups. Okay, so we do have the Strength card here. Um, and this is telling me that you've had to endure some stuff, okay? You've had to endure um, possibly, you know, some difficult communication with someone in your life. Um, you could be dealing with, we have the Sun card here, Leo. Um, yeah, um, I'm sure there will be more cards coming out to clarify who you possibly could be dealing with, but it looks like you're walking away from the situation in order to gain some happiness in your life. It looks like there has been some disruption that has caused you to, um, you know, to feel unemotionally connected here, okay? Whatever this is for you, whatever type of relationship that this is talking about, um, it looks like, you know, there could be a new beginning or a fresh new start um, after walking away from this situation, okay? Now, this could have already happened already. You could have already walked away from this situation. You could be experiencing happiness. However, I do feel that you walked away also because there may have been a third party, okay? Someone had some options and someone brought in someone else from, you know, from the outside into the relationship, 
okay? Someone had options here. Again, you could be dealing with a Leo. So there has been some harsh communication going back and forth, possibly after a split. Um, maybe talk about, you know, a new beginning after what happened. Um, maybe talking about um, a new beginning with the person who they maybe either they or you have moved on with. But I do feel that there was um, there was some third party activity in this situation. OK, that is the challenge here. Now, again, it could have already happened or this could be coming in. OK, put it put it how it resonates for you. Um, but I do see that someone has options here. So let's see what the advice from Spirit is with this Ten of Pentacles. Spirit, what is this advice? Okay, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Coins. Something long-term could have ended here, okay? Um, you may have been with this person for a long time, and you may be trying to move on in a new direction after, um, after a separation. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, moving into a new direction. Knight of Cups, could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, individual. And we have the King of Wands, that's your energy there, Sagittarius, okay? So again, um, I do feel that this has been a uh, this was a long term relationship that maybe you've been dealing with, or it could be, um, you know, possibly um, a family unit. Um, I do see that there could possibly be children involved here. Um, with the Page of Cups here and the Ace of Coins, I do feel that there is a new beginning that could be emerging. And with the Six of Swords, this is talking about transformation in a new direction, moving into clear waters after, you know, having to endure a lot of, of difficult um, communication maybe with the person here that we're talking about, okay? Um, I do have the Knight of Cups again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I have your energy here of the King of Wands. I do feel that this is, this is you and your person here coming through, and the advice from Spirit is clear. There's a new beginning, okay? Now, again, this could be a new beginning after reconciliation with this individual, or this could be a new beginning after leaving a situation or separating from the situation. Put it how it resonates for you, but I do see there is a new beginning and there is going to be movement into a more clear path, okay? Um, now this 10 of Pentacles can be talking about that path together, um, but it doesn't have to be talking about that because you know it does signify family here. It just could be saying that this relationship was a family unit. Possibly, again, I do see children here. So, um, you know, this could have been a long-term uh, situation between you two, okay? Now, I do see the Two of Cups, so let's see what the outcome is here with this union. Spirit, what is this Two of Cups for Sagittarius? We got the card of Cancer. So uh, again, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Okay. Fast movement. Two of Swords. Someone's feeling blocked here. Okay. Someone doesn't feel that they can make a, ch a choice, make a decision. the high priestess okay intuition trusting your intuition to unblock whatever this is uh, to be able to make that decision and we have the magician card okay manifestation talking about 
um, realizing your goals and seizing the moment, um, making sure that you are paying attention to the signs, making sure that you are, uh, you know, accepting what is right, what happened, what the truth of what of the matter. Okay. Now we do have the four of cups here. So somebody is possibly turning an offer down. Um, if someone in this um, in this union, okay, of this two cups, this is talking about two people here. There is someone who's blocked and unsure, um, and someone who might need to use their intuition to and the tools, right, that they they have underneath their belt. This could be you, Sagittarius. Someone you know here is uh, definitely has manifested this. Um, but I do feel that there is going to be someone here who turns down the opportunity to, um, to continue with this union. Okay. We have the four of cups here. This is, um, you know, having, there's an offer of love here and someone isn't either seeing it or is rejecting it. Okay. Someone is rejecting an offer of love here. So there is going to be the, the need to evaluate how you're going to maneuver. This is going to be coming in quick this upcoming week. I believe that there's going to be something that transpires that is going to give you the opportunity to um, step into a new, a new path, a new direction um, that's going to lead you into um, an opportunity that can provide you down the road with um, the stability that you're looking for, okay? Um, or the union that you deserve, okay? Um, it looks like they're, you know, now keep in mind this three of cups here that talks about third party. Third parties don't always have to be um, cheating, okay? It doesn't always have to be the other woman or the other man, okay? This can be um, you know, a group of people, uh, a work environment, um, a choice to pick them over me type situation, you know, someone who has chosen to focus on their work or focus on their friends or focus on something else other than you. Okay. It doesn't always mean, um, you know, cheating. Okay. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, now put it how it resonates for you, but I do see here that there has been someone that does have options. Okay. They have the option to, you know, uh, pick and choose, pick and choose. Okay. So now this could be you, this could be them. Put it how it resonates. The, the roles can be reversed here. Okay. But I do see that the challenge is going to be communicating this to, um, the individual in your life. Someone here, though, nonetheless, is going to be um, refusing an offer or rejecting an offer, okay? So let's go ahead and get some Oracle cards to see if we can get any more clarity on the situation. So far, Sagittarius, if this reading does resonate with you, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, um, please hit that subscribe button, okay? Um, both hitting the like and subscribe button shows me that you support what I do on this channel. And I do appreciate any comments. If you have any, please do comment on the video um, for any reason. If you uh, have any, any uh, thoughts, suggestions, or even just, um, you know, anything, please do that. Okay. All right. So the card here says a time for healing. So I do feel that there, this is definitely a time for healing because I do feel that um, there has been some um, you know, things here that have gone on that have required, uh, you or someone else to have strength and there has been a separation. So, you know, that's not always easy. Um, separations, especially when there are children involved can be very, very daunting and, um, difficult. So, um, please, you know, take the time to, um, to do some self care, take the time to, um, to really evaluate how you're going to move into this new direction because I do see there is a, a new path okay there's a new path for you Sagittarius and your partner whoever this is okay um, and it could be together it could be apart it's going to depend on you and your situation okay the card says dream talk your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams 
It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So Sagittarius, this is a message coming from the other side. Someone who maybe has passed, um, your spirit guides, um, your um, the ascended masters, um, anyone who is on the other side and people or spirits who we cannot see are protecting you. You have people who are watching out for you. You have um, your spirit guides who always have your back. So, and the universe in general, right? The universe always has your best interest at heart. So always know that you're never alone, okay? You're never alone. And if you need to reach out to um, to, to any of these um, spirits, um, any of, of your um, angels, okay? You do have an angel watching out for you, okay? If you didn't know that already, um, please do. Um, and look out for the signs, symbols, and synchronicities, um, letting you know that they're hearing you, that they have your back, okay? So that was a beautiful message. Let's go ahead and pull a animal spirit or spirit animal, excuse me, spirit animal oracle. Um, this is going to see what animal you will be embodying this upcoming week, what animal spirit will be helping you get through um, some of these difficult um, conversations that I see that might be taking place this upcoming week, okay? Spirit, what message do you have for Sagittarius? So the message we received, Sagittarius, is the giraffe, visionary. The card says, rise above, rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Ah, what a beautiful message. Yeah, stand tall. Okay, stand tall like the giraffe. Sagittarius because um, you know you will be seeing that the opportunities that are coming your way will give you the insight that you need uh, and you know don't forget to use your intuition okay it's going to be very important that you really pay attention to in not only the signs and synchronicities of your angels your guides and your ancestors who are trying to help you make these decisions but also you know just the you know, the, just all of the signs that are going to be coming in, in to help you from your own intuition, from, you know, even people here in 3D that um, might have suggestions, okay? So, you know, just, just pay attention, um, really um, hone in on your intuition and use your best judgment, okay? So this was your reading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Okay. Thanks for your support. Thank you for being here and for staying until the end if you did. Um, I love you guys so much. And until next time, namaste.